So howdy, y'all. Dallas, the 214. Everything's bigger in Texas, right? What a fitting location for this big event. This is nice. We were friends, and we were best friends, and we dated fiancés, and now soon to be husband and wife. Growing up, I always admired Tom, not just as my older brother, but also my best friend. Whether it was playing with our toy cars and trucks, where we lined up every car, pretending they were in a traffic jam, and moving them centimeter by centimeter, to early morning video games, skiing out west, or a good old fashioned game of stump, he has made sure I was part of it all. Maddie and I first met in college. We were just instant friends. I think that everybody here in this room kind of feels that the minute you meet Maddie, she's immediately welcoming. And not only do you feel like you've known her for forever, but she makes you feel so known, like she's known you your entire life. So Madison, mm. thought the fireworks were tough, jeez. Where do I begin? I knew this would happen. These past 27 years have been nothing but fantastic. I mean, watching you grow up from that little bundle of joy, our little peanut, to this beautiful, radiant, full of life, young woman that's been nothing short of incredible. You're gorgeous. I fed no crying. Can you start crying? Oh, yeah. we're already, we're boohooing. I, I look at the person you've become, strong, kind, thoughtful, caring, and optimistic, and I realize that the dreams I held in my heart for you are alive in your beautiful spirit. I'm so proud of you, and I'm honored to be your father. When I think of my sister, one of the first words that comes to mind is generous. Thank you so much. Oh, this is beautiful. She's always there to support her friends and family, and she has never missed a She possesses every quality that I believe makes for an amazing sister, a giving friend, and the perfect wife. When I think of Tom, the first word that comes to mind is cheerful. There's never a moment where he isn't doing something without a smile on his face. Sometimes the bears lose or the cooler is out of Coors Light, but even then the smile persists. <laughs> All jokes aside though, I can think of no better man to be with my sister. And after today, I'm excited to have you as a part of this family and get to call you brother. As a son, Tom has always been very loving. He tells you how he feels and he lets you know he values you and what you have done for him. Well, hey there, how you oh, doing? Hey. hey, good, how are you? Good. Yeah? Yeah. You know, I've never met somebody who is so kind, such a genuine human being, such a, a good person in general. You want to turn around and look? I do, if you want me to. Yeah. Yeah. Also, hello. Hello. Bye. How are you booing? I'm not booing. <laughs> Thomas, people often talk about how difficult relationships are, and I honestly cannot relate. They say love is hard, yet ours is the easiest and most special thing I've ever experienced. Madison Mary, I love you so much. You look absolutely stunning today. That should not come as a surprise, as you do every day. You have changed my life in the most positive way. I knew from the first moments of meeting you that you'd be in my life for a very long time. I could not imagine my life without you. Remember when we first talked about our relationship what we were doing with these extra feelings we were having. I said I wanted you in my life in some capacity. If we decided to date and it didn't work out, I could not do that. I needed you in my life. 
we decided we would give it a shot and look back five years ago, here we are now, I'd say it was a damn good decision. Over the last 12 years, you have been my best friend, my rock, my comfort, my everything. Every single day you support me. You make me feel like the most important person. You love me. You have the most infectious smile. You walk into a room and immediately brighten it with your persona, smile, and grace. These last 12 years have been incredible. You are my best friend, my travel buddy, roommate, and my person. Thomas and Madison, by the power vested in me, by the Universal Life Church, and the great state of Texas, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to present to you the new Mr. and Mrs. Kelly. You guys are as much a treasure to have in my life as it is to see the both of you together. I love you guys so much and you mean the world to me and I'm so happy and so is the rest of this room. It would be so easy to lose friends as you move across the country, but instead of saying goodbye to them, you just add more to the next place that you go. The people here tonight are a reflection of that because there's so many of us from different states across the country and seasons of life. I think it's good. It doesn't look like it. I would assume. These words spoken today between Madison and Thomas are indeed important and sacred, but they are not what joins these two together, nor is this marriage ceremony. We are not here to witness the beginning of their relationship, but to acknowledge and celebrate a lasting bond that already exists between them. And they have moved three different states together, became mom and dad to their pup Cashman, and grown together into two wonderful young adults that I have the privilege to call siblings. Your friends are your family that you get to choose. And that's the way I look at Tom and Maddie. They're our family. They came to our honeymoon. <laughs> that's, and it was great. I would do it all over again. <laughs> if anybody's been paying attention today, you can see how much those two love each other, and there's no way anybody could love another person more. I'm so glad to have seen your friendship blossom into the loving relationship you have today. As my Uncle Mike said to my mom on her wedding day, I say to you, Maddie, we're stuck with him. You had a choice. The love you show me is such a pure and unconditional love. You have brought me so much joy and positivity into our daily lives, from the goofy dances that you do around the kitchen to the way that you laugh with your entire body when you think something's funny, to the crooked smile that you have when you look at me. I love you so much, and I vow to never let our crazy life get in the way of our relationship. I vow to be the calm to the crazy. I vow to look you through all the phases of our lives and the many moves that we will inevitably make. I vow to be your safe space to give you all that I am today and every day for the rest of our lives. Today marks the start of the greatest journey of our lives. And I am so blessed to call you my forever love and my husband. You are my person, Madison Mary, forever and always.